Hi, this is Brandon Moon with Leland Fly Fishing. I want to welcome you to Fly Tie and Night tonight. Tonight we're going to be tying up a pretty fun, cool stone fly pattern, kind of taken from the Kaufman stone. I call this the dirty black stone, or you could call it a dirty golden stone if you tied it in a golden color. With that, I want to make sure that I invite you to like the video if you find any kind of value in it whatsoever make sure you hit and leave us a comment hit subscribe and the bell to receive future notification this helps us out a great deal as we strive to put good quality content out into the community so the hook I'm using today is the new Moonlit Premium Tagata ML 601 I'm tying in a size 10 tonight you can use a size 6 or an 8 as well this is kind of a stimmy nymph style type hook and I'm gonna take some 0 0.5 millimeter lead free wire from Semperfly and I'm gonna give about 10 wraps and this is just going to add a little bit of bulk and a little bit more weight, not a ton. To this fly. Being lead free, it's not going to add quite the same amount of weight that leaded wire is going to add. And I'm just going to push that up into that bead. That in part is also going to help seat that bead nice and good. I'm going to take some Semperfly Classic Wax 6 op thread in black and I'm just going to start that right there behind that lead free wire. That lead free wire is also going to act as my thorax abdomen of this fly here. I'm going to wrap this thread back to where that barb on a barbed hook would be and I'll trim that out. Now I'm just going to take and create a little tiny bulge here to just kind of help flare out my buy it tail here. So I'm going to take two black goose biots from Semperfly. I'm going to measure this out to be roughly about the length of the shank of this fly, the body. And I'll secure that down with a couple wraps. I am going to go in front of it just to lock that in. And I can adjust this biot a little bit if I need to there. And I put the curvature so this bias has a natural curve. I'm facing that curve outwards so that it goes away from the hook shank. Just adds a nice effect for that tail making it separate a little bit more. Again, just lock it in, and then I can really kind of seat it down after I've secured it a little bit so it doesn't rotate anymore. I'm going to trim these biots, again the Semperfly Black Goose biots. I'm going to trim those to go up pretty much into I was a little short on that one into the lead free wire. I will at this point kind of seat in that wire so it doesn't move anymore. Now I'm going to go back to my tail. And you don't have to use the same color combo that I use, but I really like the blue wire accent on black. 
So I've got two millimeter Semperfly tying wire. And I'm just gonna tie that in on top and I'm gonna measure it out so that it goes up into that lead free wire helps give me a nice smooth transition into there. We'll go back again to our tail here at the back of our body. I'm gonna put that wire into my material clip. Now I'm gonna take some dirty bug yarn in black and I'm just gonna tie this in If it doesn't cover it up real great, that's all right. It's not gonna make a big difference because we're gonna wrap that up anyways. I'm gonna half hitch that thread, set it off to the side on my bobbin rest. Now, I'm gonna take this dirty bug yarn and I'm just going to wrap that forward. And I'll wrap up to that lead free wire then I'm gonna add a little bit of a taper by coming back about three quarters and then back forward. That's just gonna add a little taper to that body. Take my thread and I'll lock that in. Didn't quite lock in there. Secure that down. Now I can trim that out. I'm going to take a little bit of a dubbing brush and I'm just going to brush that dirty bug yarn. Just make it nice and buggy. Until you feel like it's good. Then I'm going to take an open spiral wrap this wire up the body of the fly. Creating nice good segmentation. I like the color contrast. Personally it makes the fly pop a little bit to me. I don't know that it matters as much to the fish but I've had a lot of success with the ice blue tying wire. Helicopter that out. Now I'm going to take and tie in some red oh, had some some red 1 30 seconds mirror tinsel from Semperfly I'm just going to tie this right there at the top. And I'll center it and go backwards and then I'll just wrap it up into the front. Now I'm going to take some Mirage tinsel in the 1 16th size so it's a thicker size. This is going to kind of make this just a little bit of a split case. And I'll do the same thing I did, center that up there, pulling it back so I can go right over the top. Now I'm going to set that in my material clip out of the way. I'm going to take some Snake River Fly Club Dub, Firecracker Black. I'm going to take a small amount and create a dubbing noodle here and start my thorax. Now I'm going to take goose biots and I'll measure that out to the back side of this fly here. Just lay it on the side. 
lock it in. Again, I can adjust that just a little bit. I want that to come right out the side. Okay, now I'm going to take another one. Again, the ridge of this fly or by it is facing away from the hook, and that just helps create that nice distance between the hook and the bayet. Secure that down with a couple wraps over top, then one in front just locks everything in. Trim that out. Another small piece of club dub in the firecracker black. We'll just cover up those bayets. Now we're going to put two more sets, or one more set of legs. And I want these legs to measure to the same distance. And putting this dubbing in front of these legs helps flare them out as well. Again, rid or the curvature of this bayet we want facing away from the hook. Got two of them on this one. Same distance, length of this, the leg there. Lock it in. And that one is not sitting or seating properly. I'll just take and tie it back in so it's not too far down. It's a little too far down for me. There we go. Lock those in again. Trim them out. Again, a little more club dub. Finish this thorax out. And I do wrap back over the top of it. Now I'm going to pull that Mirage tinsel right over the top. Secure it down. This one goes right through the middle of it. The red one does. I'll secure that one down as well. Now I'll pull them both back. Put a couple wraps. And then I'll take my scissors. Trim them out. A few longer fibers than I want right there. And I'll set that aside for the next fly there. I'm just going to create just a few more wraps in there, secure it down really good. Now we'll half hitch it. What? Kind of got away from me there. There we go. Trim that off. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of UV resin. I'm going to use the Semper Fly. Usually when I'm tying multiple flies, I put this UV resin in a little bit of a in a cup. And that allows me to just put it on my bodkin. Now we're just going to take our UV light, cure up that resin right there real quick. And there you have 
the dirty black stonefly nymph on the new moonlit premium Tagata ML601. If you find any value in this video whatsoever, please do us a favor. Make sure you hit the like button, leave us a comment, subscribe and the bell to receive future notification. This helps us out a great deal as we work to put new content out in the community of value. Thank you for your support tonight. Have a wonderful evening.